Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and it is BoggleBots weekend, or at least when this video is released it will be BoggleBots weekend. Uh, for me, I am a week out from BoggleBots and I need to do some upgrades and make some spares for Annie. So that is what today is going to be all about. We're going to be doing some upgrades, making some spares, getting ourselves ready to fight at BoggleBots. Uh, so there's only really one major upgrade that I want to make and that is all to do with the weapon system. I have a brand new blade on order uh, for Annie and I'm crossing my fingers and toes that that will make it here uh, before I fly out to the UK because that's going to help a lot if I get that in. Uh, but the other thing we're doing is we are going from the ABS printed parts with the O-rings and we're upgrading to actual timing belts and actual timing belt pulleys that are made of glass filled nylon. So this little guy is going to be way stronger and way better than the ABS pulleys that we had before. I think the weapon is still going to run an ABS pulley because I wasn't having any issues with that. It was all about this uh, weapon motor pulley that was actually having so many issues. So I think we're going to stick, like I said, with the ABS up the front. I would like to get that over to aluminium at some point in the future, but I don't have time on a lathe, um, or enough time on a lathe. I'm going to need to lathe down these little guys, the little glass filled nylon buddies. Those are going to have to be laid down to make it to the right size, because at the moment they are way too big. Um, but that's like a 10 minute lathe job, and that's about all I'm going to have on a lathe uh, before I go. So. That's that, and then like I said, we're gonna make a whole bunch of spares. I've gotta make some spares of the little standoffs at the front. I've gotta make spare wheels. I wanna make spare top and bottoms. I wanna make spare side armor. And I wanna make a spare weapon mount because uh, going into BoggleBots, I could be facing uh, other undercutters. And the last time I faced an undercutter, my weapon mount exploded. I mean, I have upgraded it and improved it since then, but still, I don't want to be put into a position where I don't have a spare weapon mount because that's not going to be a fun time for anyone and I'm basically going to be out of the competition because I won't have a weapon running. I mean, I'll still be there and I'll still be able to fight, but I have to fight weaponless, which Annie is not set up to fight weaponless. There is basically nothing she can do. Um, all right, so I think the first things first, we're going to crack on to these little nylon risers, uh, sorry, nylon pulleys. I'm going to drill and tap these because I'm going to have to move the, um, the set screw in them. Then once we've done that, we'll lay them down, get them flat, uh, get them ready to go into the robot, and then we'll start working on some of the spares and things that need to happen. Oh, also, I need to get myself um, a little bit more UK friendly. I need to put a, um, a fuse in into all of my electronics because that is part of the UK rules. And I also need a proper weapon clamp uh, for Annie. So all of those things are going to happen today. Uh, yeah, so we've got a lot to do. Let's get started. But unfortunately, you don't get to see any of that. Uh, I am now here in the UK with Annie, the fully upgraded Annie. Uh, and I was about to edit this video and realized that in my rush to pack up and leave, I had left footage behind. So unfortunately, you don't get to see any of the... Uh, the upgrades that were made to Annie or me working on the upgrades. I'll show you what I've actually done here in just a second. Uh, but yeah, all of the stuff of me working on Annie and upgrading her is still at home. Uh, so that's not very good. I might clip some of it together when I get back and put that up, but I don't know. We'll have to see how we go on time. Uh, but yes, Annie is now all together. And the reason that I don't have uh, that footage is because I was making spares. I was making lots and lots of spares, which is good. So we have the spares now. We have the spares, which means that we're going to do, or at least we're going to keep be able to keep fighting in this competition, which is really good. That's what I, what I wanted. But it basically meant I was making spares all the way down to like the last 20 minutes before I was leaving and getting out the door. So uh, I was a little bit rushed in packing and that's why some of the footage is not here. Um, Although I do have Annie's first spin-up test with the new belts. Uh, sorry for the quality of what you're about to see. It was um, shrunk down to be uploaded to a Facebook messaging thing so they could show some other people. Uh, so it's not the greatest footage, but here you go.
Okay, so now that you've seen that, let us, uh, let's bring you in over here and have a look at some of the upgrades that we've done for Annie. Uh, also, you might realize at the moment Annie doesn't have an actual face on. Her face is sitting over here, or at least uh, one of her faces. I haven't quite decided yet who, uh, what face I'm going to put on Annie. Basically, I think I'm going to have to uh, do this kind of fight by fight, so as I know who the opponent is, I'll change the face out. Uh, and have individual faces for each different opponent that I face. Uh, so you can have to watch Bogglebots if you want to see uh, the final upgrade here to Annie, the new face. Um, but like I said, let's pull you in here and take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these upgrades. Uh, like I said, there is now a new belt system down in here, which is really, really good. The weapon spins freely and the motor spins with the weapon perfectly. Uh, and I've spun this up already and it hasn't seemed to loosen the belt off and if it did loosen the belt off it's not enough uh, to lose the tension um, yeah so that the weapon still spins perfectly then up here I replaced the old Dean's plug that I was talking about at the start with uh, 3mm bullet connectors in a TPU housing uh, so this is going to be a more rigid and reliable system also if somebody manages to cut down the middle of it it was actually going to spring release and these um, these links will come out because they're literally just held in by two screws. So if it gets cut, they're going to just pop out and yeah, hopefully kind of move away from the saw or whatever is cutting through them. We don't know. Uh, there have been a couple of minor upgrades inside in terms of armor and stuff and armor mounting. There is also an LED strip down in here. I'm not sure about that positioning though. I might move that around as the competition uh, wears on. There's also some new backplate mounts just to make all of that stuff stronger, and then a 10mm thick anti-spinner wedge up the front here, or anti-spinner armor. And of course, uh, finally, these standoffs over here. We have increased those from the old 6mm, so hang on. This is an old one. So the old 6mm up to 10mm thick. So these should be a lot more spinner proof, even though I've got the big spinner armor to stop spinners from hitting these. I'm still just going to be very careful of them because, yeah, if these things go, then the whole weapon system hits the ground. And, yeah, I basically don't have a weapon anymore, so that's not very good at all. Um, yeah, so only a few kind of minor-ish upgrades, but they should help Annie out a lot in the long run. And, yeah, I, I'm now keen to go over and get Annie in the arena and test everything and also make sure she still makes weight or make sure she makes weight uh, with these upgrades. She was pushing pretty close to the top of the weight limit at home and now I've got an extra 200 grams but I think uh, with the new armor and some of the new armor mounting and stuff I might have used all that up uh, so you never know we'll have to uh, take it over and put it on the scales and find out anyway that's going to be all for me for today I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next video